Good. good morning. Bo, can you explain uh, what case you're going to be performing surgery on today? Yes, it's a very interesting case. It's a man who was operated on, on both sides uh, for cholesteatoma with canal wall down surgery in each side. And he has a bilateral mixed hearing loss. On the left side, he has a 85 decibel mixed hearing loss. And on the left side, a 65 decibel mixed hearing loss. I implanted him a Baha on the right side in 2010. And he has a good result with a 40 decibel functional gain with the bar on the right side. And with experience, uh, he decided to have a second bone and cord hearing aid on the left side in order to have a real stereophony and the benefit of the benefits of the stereophony. I have the experience of cases with bilateral bone and cord hearing aids. And in these cases, every time when we check the hearing, that means the left uh, bone and cord hearing aid alone, then the right alone and bilateral uh, bone and cord hearing aids together, to have bilateral improve speech uh, recognition of 10% compared to the best ear alone. And this result uh, is measured in each patient who has uh, bilateral bone and cord hearing aids. The, the benefit of uh, stereophony is uh, obtained uh, every time. And so for this patient, it will be the second side bone and cord hearing aid. And I will implant it with a MIPS technique. I will implant a Ponto bone and cord hearing aid with a minimally invasive ponto surgery. It is a surgery which is performed only with a punch cut resection and with, a special, uh, with special instruments to protect the soft tissues. So the surgery, will, uh, surgery duration will be around 10 minutes. And uh, if you want, uh, I can start now or after that, uh, Franco, uh, uh, fra that uh, bar tract will be finished, as you want. So perhaps if you wait for 10 minutes, Tiba, we go back to Franco yes. and then we'll come back to you, okay? Uh, hi, yes. good, to, good to hear you. Okay, so I explain I will implant a Ponto, a bone and cord hearing aid, with a MIPS uh, techniques that, uh, that is a minimally invasive ponto surgery. I show you the principles. First, uh, the principle is to perform all the surgery through a five millimeter uh, punch skin resection only. No additional skin incision. No soft tissue reduction. And uh, we, because of that, we have to measure the thickness of the soft tissue and fit the length of the abutment to the thickness of the soft tissue. And then the, the principle is to perform la fraise or the procedure through a cannula which will protect the soft tissue. There is special burrs for that uh, which allows to burr through the cannula to uh, perform the hole for the implant. Okay, we will start the procedure now by measuring the, soft, the thickness of the soft tissue behind the ear. I choose the place for the implant, 45 degrees posterior and superior to the external auditory canal, and that means the uh, sound processor will be just at the level of the summit of the pina. And I will measure the site of the implant will be there. You can see here the scars from the middle ear surgeries. And I will measure 
The Sickness of the Soft Tissue. Alors là, c'est pas très bon parce que j'ai la main devant. At the site of the implant. So I try to show you without putting my finger in the camera. And I clamp a needle holder in order to measure the thickness of the soft tissue. In that case, the thickness of the soft tissue is 6 mm. So I will use a 9 mm abutment. The rule is that the length of the abutment has to be 3 mm more than the thickness of the soft tissue. Donc, so on Fra mettra... Franco, can you hear me? It's John. Um, so this patient is under general anesthesia. Sorry, Thibaut, sorry. It's John. Yes. This patient is under uh, general anesthesia at the moment. Yes, yes, yes. Usually I perform this surgery under general anesthesia, but in some cases under local anesthesia. It's, uh, uh, if you perform it under local anesthesia, does the patient complain about the noise? No. Uh, no. Uh, I uh, uh, advise as the patient that there will be the noise of the drilling uh, during the surgery. I advise the patient of that before the surgery. And uh, with that, there is no complaint after. It's not painful. Uh, the only Uh, think it's a noise true. So now we will perform infiltration not at the site of the implant in order to thicken the soft tissue, but around Hop, alors là il faudrait l'anesthésie essayer de faire en sorte que ça saigne pas. Parce que je vois que les trous d'aiguille saignent là. Hop. Hop. And I will make the skin resection with the punch. It is a 5 mm diameter punch. Alors, c'est vraiment pas bien parce que j'ai les, les doigts devant. Hop. Turning the punch, I go down to the bone. Up, and I remove the soft tissue down to the periosteum, bisturi electric. Then I will perform the hemostasis with monopolar, monopolar cautery. Uh, and in addition, the monopolar cautery will retract uh, the subcutaneous tissues. Alors, vous uh, me donnez la, le bisturi, then I will make the incision for the periosteum and retract largely the periosteum it is a key point of the technique to retract the periosteum on a surface which is larger than the diameter of the implant in order to avoid that soft tissues that periosteum uh, goes into the hole of the for the implant so I can see, and perhaps you can see here, the bone surface. It is not a blind surgery. I can see very well the retraction of the periosteum and the bone surface. With the cannula, and all the will be performed quite whole to the cannula. And I will hold it with the left hand, and I have to take care to avoid to move the cannula during the surgery. 
So I insert the cannula and then I take it like that. First, I will drill at three millimeter depths the row top and these drills are really extremely sharp compared to the old system you can see the bone powder aspiration no then I can check if there is Still bone into the hole or not? I have some some tissue so up. Voila. And I can see and feel that there is still bone in the depth. So I will go to four millimeter. Vous montrez. And to go to four millimeter, allez-y enlever. I have to remove this little plastic ring. Too small pour montrer. And then the depth is four millimeter. Mettez de l'eau. Top. So I go to four millimeter. Up, you can see here the bone powder. Aspiration. And I will check again if there is still bone. Yes, there is still bone in the depth. So I can now enlarge the hole avec une fraise, euh, enfin on passera 4 et 9 donc, parfait. Then I will enlarge the hole with a depth of 4 mm. You can see here the burr with Hop, no. Hop. This is the equivalent of the countersink in the ancient instruments, the row. Up. Aspiration. And then I remove the cannula and will insert the implant. Alors, I have to change the speed of the burr. Voilà, le rétracteur. And I can check that there is no periosteum into the hole. Perhaps you can see the hole itself. I can turn we, around. No, we can see that. We can see that. And now I will insert the implant, a four millimeter implant with a 9 mm abutment. So it's very fast surgery, vous mettez de la betadine. I have now the experience of 107 implants with a punch resection and uh, what appears is that the skin tolerance is better than the technique with uh, soft tissue reduction even if there is no statistical signification for the moment in my experience but the rate of revision surgery and the reason of the revision surgery uh, are significantly uh, different that means with the technique with a dermatome or soft tissue reduction the main problem were skin issues with skin overgrowth or bad skin tolerance leading to uh, revision surgery. With the punch technique, there is no more on about 107 cases. There is no more of skin overgrowth and no revision for skin issues. There was revision in four cases because of implant loss. Uh, uh, but no more revision for skin surgery, skin issues. And uh, this is the difference with the previous technique. So I will uh, insert the implant now. It is a ponto wide implant with a uh, 9mm abutment. And I can 
check the number of turns. Allez-y. One turn. Two. Three. Four. Four. A little bit less than four and half a turn. It's a normal uh, insertion rotation. Then I can check if the tightening is good and the surgery is finished. So it's a very fast, uh, simple, uh, minimally traumatic surgery. Uh, really, a uh, I like it and uh, the results uh, for skin tolerance are very good. What appears is that uh, with longer abutments than with the previous techniques, that means with 9 or 12 millimeter long abutments, there is a little bit more risk of implant loss because of traumatic dislocation or also integration failure because longer implants uh, put higher torques on the bone than shorter one. But uh, it's really an improvement to avoid soft tissue reduction and just make a punch approach. So uh, Tiba, let's just ask you a bit about um, post-optive management. I mean, you've just wrapped the abutment with some uh, Vaseline gauze, does it have any uh, antibiotic on it or is it just no. gauze that you've wrapped? Okay, no so does the patient, yeah. And does the patient go home today or in France do you keep them for one day? What do you do? No, uh, it is performed uh, now in uh, outpatient uh, procedure if the patient lives not too far from the clinic. Uh, and if the patient uh, patient's home is more than 150 kilometers from the clinic, then he will stay for one night after the surgery. Okay, now what about post-operatively? How many days before you connect the transducer? One month. He one will month. Uh, have the, this dressing for one week. After that, the dressing will be removed and ointment will put on the skin for one week after a removal of the dressing. The patient will be allowed to put water on the implant. That means to wash his hair normally 10 days after the surgery. And the uh, sound processor is put on one month after surgery. And what care do you ask the patient to take of the, uh, of the abutment? How does the patient manage the abutment in the longer term? Do they clean it regularly, or how do you advise management? I advise to clean it every time that he, wear, he wash his hair with a little uh, brush to brush the skin on the implant every time it's air. Okay, well, thanks very much. That was very clear, uh, a, a very good demonstration. Yeah. Uh, we're not due to go to Thomas uh, in Hanover for another 15 minutes, so we're going to leave uh, Bézier now and Thibaut Dumont, and we'll have a uh, 10 to 15 minute break. Join you again just before 11.50 for those that are watching. Thank you.